Howdy! Welcome to Faith of a Child Box videos, helping your family become saints together. Today we will be uh, painting our peg doll of Blessed Luigi Beltrame Quattrocchi, and that is my best attempt at pronouncing his name correctly. Um, with my southern draw, it's a little difficult. Um, so if anyone can pronounce it better, let me know. Um, but that's, that's the best I got in that. We're just going to call him Blessed Luigi from now on <laughs> to help me out here. So from your box, you're going to need one of your male pig dolls, your paintbrush, and your paints. And from home, you want to go ahead and find a little cup of water, a paper towel, and something to cover your clothes. The acrylic paint will stain your clothing, so you want to go ahead and cover it. Okay, to start off with our blessed Luigi, we are going to, I'm going to start with his face, which if you have painted any of these peg dolls, you know I generally start with their hair. This one I'm going to start with his face just for a certain reason that we'll get to in a little bit when we get to his hair. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to take your tan paint and we're going to start just like we, we always do. I find a spot in the middle of their head and put and mark it. Take it down the side. Okay, mark the middle and paint up so we make a whole line. And then turn it over. Do the same thing. You're going to mark the middle of the head here and then follow the line up to the top. Okay. Now turn to whichever side you want him to be his face. We're gonna draw a line across the bottom here to mark off where his face is. Then we're gonna go ahead and fill in his whole face with this tan paint. All right, now you've painted his whole face, but don't clean your paintbrush off quite yet. Um, here's why we started with his face. We're painting slightly um, an older Blessed Luigi. And you can see, like happens to some men as they get older, his hairline started receding. So if I look at this one, the middle of his head was kind of right here. here. I'm gonna be anyway, right there. So his face actually goes further back. So we're gonna take our skin tone here. Now we're going to just take the top of his head and kind of make his skin tone go a little further back to kind of show his, his hairline receding, his hair kind of falling out as he gets older, which happens to, happens to some men. So, kind of shows his, his hairline's receding. You'll see it better as we um, paint his Hair. It's kind of hard to see when it's just his skin. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and clean up our paintbrush. And we are going to start working on his suit. So in all the images um, that I looked at of Blessed Luigi, he wore a suit. He was a very prominent lawyer. Um, he worked at the government in time, at times, and so he would have worn a suit to work. Um, and so we're going to draw him in a suit, and this is a comp kind of a more complicated way to draw it, but I'm going to show you a simpler way um, for our example here. And if you want the more complicated way, you can um, pause the video and try to match um, what I did for his little suit here with all the um, lines for his jacket. But we're going to go a simpler way. That still looks like a suit, but it's just a little bit easier here. So we are going to start with the white from his undershirt that you can you can see there from his dress shirt. So we're going to get our white paint. Put a little bit on here. We're going to find the middle of his face. Okay. And to get us started, we're just going to put a dot to get us started. And then we're going to take that and we're going to make it into a little line here. 
Okay, that shows us how far across we want our uh, the white that we're going to see to go. I'm going to make mine a little bit further. And then we're going to pick a spot where we want our triangle to end. And so, yeah, maybe about an inch down, I guess. Is that an inch? I'm not sure. I don't have a ruler on me. So I did probably a quarter of the way down. However far you put it, just don't put it all the way down here. That might be a little silly. Somewhere up top here. So then you're just going to connect the lines of your triangle. And color it in. And you are going to color it completely in. Don't worry about leaving a spot for his bow tie. It will just get painted on top. And since we are using our white, we're going to do what I always do. And paint white on the bottom so we can write his feast day on the bottom in white. And if you've already done your lesson here, does anyone remember what his feast day was? Or if it's today, if you're painting him on his feast day, what's the date? It is November 20. which to me is pretty fun because it is six months exactly after my wedding anniversary. So it's kind of my half year wedding anniversary. All right, now we're gonna do uh, his hair. And so for his hair, you can do it with this, with this gray. You can do it exactly how the gray comes or you can kind of adjust the gray color a little. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make his hair a little bit lighter and see it's it's even lighter than this. So I'm going to mix some of the gray up here and put a little white in it here. Just use the top part of my cap here. It already had some gray paint on it from traveling around. I should probably have some gray in there from the mail. So I mix it up. I'm not sure how much lighter it got, but so now we're going to paint his, his hair. So I'm going to paint along my, the line I did of tan earlier. And it's, it, remember it's further back than halfway, further back than halfway because he's balding a little. So just follow the line you made earlier. And then if you did a different color than the normal gray, you want to go in and make the line around his neck and then go ahead and color in all of his hair. All right, so I've got his hair done. I'm not sure if it got any lighter. We'll see when I do his suit or if I should have added more white. Whichever way. He will turn out perfectly imperfect. That's what I like to call these peg dolls. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the blacks of his eyes. So I'm gonna use the back of my paintbrush as I like to do. I'm dipping in the black here. Go find the middle and move out a little bit and use the back of my paintbrush to draw myself a circle. Do the same thing again. And now I've got two yeah, imperfect circles for his eyes. While I am at it, I am also going to do his mouth and his bow tie. Because we're gonna use red. So I just want a little bit on the edge of my paintbrush. And we're gonna make a curve. We don't push your paintbrush down too hard or I'll make a thicker line. We're just gonna barely touch and make a swoosh. And if you need to, come back from the other direction. And he's got a very happy smile. All right, now we're gonna do his bow tie. And a bow tie is a really easy thing to paint because all it is is two triangles. And we're gonna take a little bit of paint, don't get too much. And this is one you need to use a light touch also. We're gonna find the middle of his white 
right here and just put a little bitty dot and that's going to be the point where the two triangles meet. I'm going to draw one little bitty triangle this way. And then I need a little more paint. And we're going to draw one itty bitty triangle this way. And now we have a little bit of tie. And so now all we need to do is his suit. And so for his suit, we're just going to paint the rest of them gray. You do gray. And I do like to carefully outline around the features I've already painted first, which I suggest you do. Especially around your cute little bow tie you just drew. You don't want to mess it up. And then just paint in the whole thing with gray. All right, so now we have painted the whole rest of his body gray. And we are going to move on and do the whites of his eyes. So we're gonna use the back of the paintbrush trick. Here, I'm just gonna get a little paint on the back and touch the eye. Make sure you get a little bit more here. So there's a fresh dot of paint on the end there. And boop. Barely touch. I missed the first two tries there. <laughs> Trying to touch the light. Okay. If you are a beginner pig doll maker or if you just want to stop here because you think he's simple enough and he's great as he is, this is a great stopping point for a beginner uh, before you get a little any more complex on his outfit. Um, and so he's wearing a little suit, you can tell by his bow tie and, and his dress shirt underneath. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and add the more details like I did on this one, um, where I drew his um, little collar and you can see the details of his jacket, his button, and the line at the end of his jacket, and then his pants. <laughs> um, and my circle for his jacket is not even straight. Um, but if you are not interested in going to that detail, this is a great this is a great stopping point. Um, and then we are, I am going to go ahead and write his feast day on the bottom using a sharpie. Pen works, paint works, and no. Wow, that was ugly. <laughs> November twenty fifth. All right. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out and let me know and we will see you next time.